Hi everyone, this is Wing Wing, and today I'm gonna show you how to register classes at Worcester State University. So, I know it's a complicated process, but I will walk you through this. Before getting into the registration process, I want to talk about the web advisor and the Create Audit. These are two useful tools for you to choose your classes. So first off, you go to the main page of Worcester State University at www.worcester.edu. Now, when you go to the main page of the Worcester State University, you look at the top right and click on my WSU icon. After that, click on Web Advisor at the bottom of the list. So there will be the list for you to choose like graduates, students, faculties, employees. But if you have the username and um, password, just click on the web advisor login. When you click on that, you will have to put your username and password. Um, these will be provided for you in the acceptance letter. Then I click submit. Turn that off. Okay, so after that, you click on students. So here is the web advisor. So web advisor is the page for you to check your financial status, um, how to register classes, your academic profile, like your grades, your transcript, degree audit, and everything. So when you're ready for our, when you're done with the web advisor, now I want to walk you through the decree audit, which is um, a way for you to track all your classes you need in order to graduate. So you have to look at the academic profile. Down on the academic profile, there will be a decree audit over here, and click on that. When you click on the decree audit, um, you have to click on the major you want to choose. So myself is a biotechnology, so I click on here and choose one. But uh, if you wish to choose, like change your uh, program study, just to click here and then choose the um, the program you want to change. Okay. So now I click on submit. Okay, so this is the decree audit. They have your information, your student ID, um, your program summary, and everything. So here, the list is all the classes that you need and all the classes um, that you have finished. So like, for example, here, these and the capstone experience. Um, those classes are needed, but I have not yet started. So I have to, like, Notice at the capstone experience section type, this will be a useful one for you when you get into choosing your classes. Um, for part C, D, B, A, they call it the, um, the section type in the registration page. The second, the second one I want you to take notice at is the number here. Like this number, they call it the course number which is really important for you because each major may require different type of classes and different type of course number so you have to like take note of this number so you can choose your class rightly so after getting familiar with the degree audit now it's time for you to get into the registration process now just click on OK and I go back to the main menu. So here to register for classes, you look at the registration section. Down in the registration sections, there will be the search and register for classes. You click on here. OK. So there will be a page showing with, for you to choose. For example, you choose the term you want to check register classes. Um, I want to choose like a fall semester, day or evening, which is if you prefer a day class, you choose day. 
if you prefer the evening, you choose um, evening. So I click day and then open or close. If you choose on the open class, you register to the open class. But if you choose close, you will be on the wait list. So I click on open because I don't want to be on the wait list. So right now, I want to choose um, this section will be the subjects. Uh, so for example, I will choose the biology class, for example. The course level is like if you're first year, second year, third year, I didn't really put anything on that. I just put it blank. But the course number is what I um like I told you to take note before in the degree audit. So it's like in my degree audit that I need a course um the biology class course number is 141 I put it 141 I actually don't know the session type of this one so I just leave it plain then I just click submit so they said that no classes meeting this search criteria have been found perhaps you could maybe a different course number like um or if I don't remember, just click the plank, then I click submit. So there are like a list of classes open. They have biology 140, intro to organic animal biology, or biology 161. So this one is the course number. They have different one and make sure that you check it on your degree audit. So for example, I chose this one, BI 200 Human Biology. I click on the select box over here, and then I click submit. Then you will go into the pre registration and drop classes, scroll down. Look at here, you will see the register, remove, or wait list. So I want to <coughs> register, I put and register. And then I click submit. After that, you will see, um, oh, so because this one is like conflict with my, um, with my schedule, so it's, it doesn't get me like register. But after you register, it will show down the current registration, and then um, you are done. So I hope this video is helpful for you and make it um, make the registration process is uh, easy for you. Thank you for watching.